Alrighty, artists, so when you are ready to add different elements to your surrealism collage, um, you will be following these steps. Um, for my example that I'll be showing you, I will be working on my city galaxy theme, so one of the things I would like to include is some different elements in the sky. Um, I might include other planets, um, maybe things flying through the sky, I don't know if I could find maybe a rocket ship or something like that. Maybe an astronaut would be kind of cool to put in there. But you want to think about different elements that would be surprising and unexpected. Uh, my ex unexpected element is that the city is actually out in outer space, kind of floating around. So um, having these elements floating through the sky would be really cool to add in there. Um, so if we go to our pixlr.com, we want to pull up the artwork that we were working on. So when you go in here, hopefully our latest projects were saved. Um, so I can click into that if it's there. If your image is not there and it cleared out, you may need to open image and look on your recent documents on your drive and upload the photo of your artwork. So if you find your Surrealism collage, you should be able to open that from your drive. Once you're in here, um, what you are going to do is then find the images that you would like to insert onto your piece. So for me, if I maybe wanted to do something in the sky, I might think about adding an astronaut, maybe. So if I'm looking at some of these images, I want something flying through the sky. I think this would be kind of a really cool element. I might choose one of these options here to make it appear as if it's floating. So what I can do is click into that image and right click copy image, go to my Pixlr document and I can click edit paste and add that into my document. I can resize it using the little squares on the outside. And for this one, since it's a solid black background, I might be able to use my wand tool. And my wand tool, the really nice thing about it, if we go to wand select, is you can click an area that is a solid color like this and it should highlight everything in that similar color. So if you have a solid background of your photo, you might be able to get away with using the wand tool instead of the lasso tool. So it looks like a little magic wand with little stars. What I can do is click that black background and then I can hit backspace on my keyboard or I can go up and click edit clear and get rid of that. Once I'm done with that, automatically I want to move him around and resize. I can go back to my arrange tool and um, click transform and hopefully uh, move my little astronaut around at that point after clicking apply. So now I can make the astronaut bigger, I can make him larger than life, or I can make him smaller in the sky. Not sure what I like better right now, but we'll go with this for now. And I would like to add um, also some more planets in the background. So when I go back to Power School, I'll go to Pixabay and open that up on a separate tab. And I might look for planets or maybe a rocket ship going through the sky would be kind of cool. Um, what I might do is add the Earth, I'm thinking, to make it appear as if we're not on Earth. So I'll click that image, copy image, edit paste into my document. And I might use my magic wand or my wand select tool again. Since it's a solid background, I should be able to just click that and delete it. I even like how some of the earth kind of disappeared here. Um, go to my arrange tool, click transform. Um, oops, I forgot to click apply. Click apply and then I should be able to move that around. So I might have my astronaut going in front of Earth here, have some layering happening so that there's a little bit of depth within the piece. It's kind of cool. And my last little element that I might add is maybe the rocket ship going through the air. So I'll go back, see what comes up here. I want one flying through the sky. I don't have a whole lot of options here, but 
Let's see if maybe I could do an airplane or something. That could be kind of cool. And I want it flying through the sky, so I'm thinking I want it from the side view so it'll make sense together. Maybe I'll do this one here, click it, copy image, edit paste, and I am going to not use the wand tool because there's too many colors. I don't think it'll grab it so if I click the wand tool. I might be able to do this, so I could probably click the blue area, delete, and maybe I want to keep some of the clouds. I don't know yet, but this is going to require a little bit more work. I could keep some of the clouds and add that to my background. It could be kind of cool, so I'll just delete the ones I don't want for now. And then um, when I'm done with that, I could even use my eraser tool to kind of clean up the other areas that I don't want to. So let's click the arrange tool and transform that quick so I can move it around, get that rid of that. And see if I have that going through the sky. Do I like the clouds? Not so much. Um, so I'm going to use my eraser tool and get rid of some of those. So I'm not loving all of them right now. Maybe I'll keep the darker clouds and like in those. Oops, accidentally got rid of some of my plane there, so I have to be really careful. That's looking pretty good. Get rid of my big white cloud up here. And then, once I have that step done, I can move it around. That's looking pretty cool. I can change the color of that. Like, I don't know if I love the red of the airplane right now, so what I might do is go and adjust the color balance or the temperature and tint and bring that down a little bit to more of a blue tone. And then, once I am finished, I can click File, Save, as a JPG and download that to my drive.